Hey everybody, uh, in this video we're going to tackle the Last Stop Snack Snack Factory 11 problem. So let's get started by reading the, the actual outline. Uh, we're going to remove the keyword peanuts from file 300 from the peanut blast recipe, file 237. So it's good to know that 237 will always be the file we're aiming. Uh, note that the target keyword will appear in different positions each time. Uh, to view the debug of each, yep, so that's just advising that we can do that. So more or less, what we're going to have to do is copy in the word peanuts from our 300 file uh, into a register that we're able to access, and then basically iterate over uh, the contents of this file, and delete the word peanuts when it comes up. Um, so let's get started. We'll grab, uh, grab the file to start with, we'll copy in uh, the word peanuts, to register X, then we'll just drop the file. Um, yep. Uh, then we'll jump ahead to where we need to be. So we'll jump through here and to where file uh, 237 is located at, and then we'll grab file 237. Cool. Now let's start the process of uh, looping over the file, um, reading each line or each word to work out if we can find peanuts. So we'll just mark our loop, and then we'll test to see if uh, f is equal to the contents of our register, so we're just checking for the word peanuts. And if that's true, then we're just going to jump to jump to a function we'll define called delete. Uh, yep, and in our function delete, uh, so the way this works is every time we read from the f, uh, we actually jump forward once in the file. So when we tested, it basically meant that if we did land on peanuts here, we'd be on multi extract instead. So we need to seek backwards once before we delete. So let's seek back once. And then we'll just use void f to remove the word peanuts. And then we'll jump back into our loop. Cool. Um, then we also need to test to see, because we need to clean up, so we need to leave no trace. So we need to test for an end of file. And if we get an ender file, um, then we're going to make another function or another branch called end. Yep. <coughs> Sorry. And we're just going to halt. Unfortunately, this is the way I'm going to have to do it currently because I still need to be able to continue the loop if I'm not at the end of the file. So basically, if we get to the end of the file, trigger the end, else just jump back and start this loop over again. So, so let's give this a shot to see how it went. Cool, and we can see peanuts getting removed from each of these, so that's working. Let's skip to the end. Awesome. Actually, we got quite a good score for that one. Um, I will see you in the next one.